What's up, y'all? Today's the day I'm headed to Europe for my cousin's wedding. So I'm gonna make an eat, pray, ball trip out of it by starting in England to go see some Champions League games and then take the train over to Paris where my cousin's getting married. Uh, go, go do the damn thing and uh, have fun while we're doing it. So right now, it's the morning of, my flight's at six. I'm cutting my hair, trying something new, doing a little bit lower than I usually do. I'm kind of fucking with it. Gonna finish this up. It's Tuesday, it's Champions League day. Gonna watch a couple of these games while I pack, fold clothes, get my stuff together. Should be a real easy way out. Let you know how it goes. Yeah, this is the best way to pack. Doing some packing. <clears throat> Watching Champions League. Gonna be at the match tomorrow. I'm hella excited. Just gotta get all my clothes in. This game, Madrid Napoli, by the way, crazy game. All right, let's see what we can do here. Man, this is a vlog and analysis. Yet again, Man United is taking an L. Now Arsenal is taking an L to Lons. I don't want to hear nobody calling the French League a Farmers League again. They are French teams out here balling. Anyway, what I wanted to say is you got to make sure you have one of these. This is a universal adapter going to Europe. So when you unlock it, you get the American plugs, you get the European plugs, and you got everything in between. Got to have it. And we're packing it. Here we go. We got this. Obviously got to pack this. Not sure if I'm even gonna wear it to St. James because I don't know how they act around there, but gotta do it. On the way to the end. walk in life. Touchdown, Newcastle. Finally leaving the airport. It's almost 5 p.m. local time. Game starts at 8. I'm gonna go link up with my boy Aaron and drop my stuff at the hotel real quick. Did a quick drop at the hotel. Now we out in these Newcastle streets, headed to the stadium. Man, this is proper too. I already have to piss. PSG bus, we out here. When do they reconstruct? Oh wow, you can. And they have a car park in the stadium. That's crazy. <laughs> we did not, I don't know what tickets we got. How are you here? I think we do. Um, I do, but they're in so many forms. I was gonna um, say, you think you do or you do? I definitely do. Yeah, we spoke to Steve downstairs. We got one of them scanned, but the other one, we were having problems with. Here it is, right here. 
That's one. And then that's the second one. You need someone to talk what? Thank you. Oh, you Hold up. Hold up. Uh, it was number LB43. Have the Champions League theme yet? Yeah. Oh, totally fine. <laughs> so, what's the drinking policy here? Um, you're not allowed to drink out there, but once you're in there, you can. Halftime, we can pop in and have a. So, okay. Oh, right. Okay, that's how it works. Yeah. yeah. So, we've done the game, it's 43, yeah? Yes. Along, along this way, 43? the rain.
you know, vulnerable moment. We're at halftime, or the second half just started. Enjoying the beers. Enjoying the beers. I don't know what kind of seats we got. I don't know anything about this, but we're in some executive lobby, living the life, and this stadium is crazy. <laughs> More to come. Just stole a quick goal. They're checking the goal because he could have been offside. Damn. But the ult the ultras just started throwing stuff from the upper rafters. And now everybody's looking back at him, calling them French cunts. <laughs> this is the atmosphere you want to be in. St. James Park. This stadium is rocking. I've never heard, I've never been to a place so loud. This, probably this, this to me, for an American, this rivals the Seattle Sounders Stadium. That's the closest thing that I can think. And I think this was a little bit louder, but just the shape of the stadium, the noise, the, the ability for every fan to just catch on to the chance so quick. They, they had this atmosphere. It was a great atmosphere. This whole place was rocking. And, and the reason I know it was rocking is because it's dead quiet now. <laughs> it's so fucking quiet. This place is crazy. Hey, good experience, good game. We're going to see what tonight brings because we know the town is about to be turned up, smashing PSG. One note on PSG, though. I think they're, they're playing that... That Luis Enrique ball, it's it's clear that they're just getting into it, playing out of the back. But as as it got to the end of the game, they started doing these little quick one touches. You can see the quality PSG has. I, I think it's going to be a very different result when they get back to 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 uh, to Park de Prince. So we'll see. We're getting ushered out of here. I will show you what it's looking like in town. Holla, y'all.
but man, people really are just out in their Newcastle jerseys or whatever. The streets are full. And it's a Wednesday. No, I'm taking a video of the Maji. That is an exceptional beer. Is this like a dare or? Yeah. Why is he wearing yeah, it's it's stuff? What do you call them? Bachelor parties? Oh, yeah. when somebody's getting married? Yeah, we could have stag do. Ah. Newcastle's a very popular stag do place. Stag do's. Yeah. Hindus and stag dudes. Is what you see here with these men wearing dresses and skirts. So there's like multiple men? Is it like the whole everybody's getting married? Or is it just like my boy's got to do it with me kind of thing? Oh, I don't know what this is because they look quite young though, don't they? They look very young. Yeah, yeah maybe, they... the, maybe the students. So maybe it's like a f fraternity. Is it Freshers? It will be around that time. Oh, yes, it is. Is this, yeah, is this freshers. university? What is yeah. Freshers? So Freshers is what they're drugged off. Freshers is like when you start college. Freshers is like the first like, kind of week when you start uni and it's like a big party. Oh. What a Freshers week. And, and you wear dresses during Freshers week? I mean, they don't make it. <laughs> Depends on the theme of the night. Or the... What's the theme of the night? Men wear dr drag queen? What the? RuPaul? The theme of the night is pretty girl. I'm just confused. Vloggable moment. Just went out after the game. Nice little time. Newcastle nightlife. Very much a college town. Definitely if I was a little younger, I'd be turning up, getting drunk running around with all these people but it's a little it's a little too wild for my taste on a Wednesday on a Wednesday especially also worth note some of these folks act like they've never seen black folks before <laughs> we just had one young lady ask me what my real name was after telling her my name was Matthew Sighting. She had Arabic friends, so it was all good. <laughs> That's just how it goes down here. The more you know. Night one done. Champions League game was a success. <clears throat> Man, it's like 11 a.m. We're about to get up. Got the boy Aaron over here working. We got to do our thing. Work and play. Next stop, we're gonna grab some breakfast. I'm gonna try to uh, try out this Greg's because I hear it is it's something special out here. <laughs> and then from there, we hop the train and we head down to Liverpool. You know, we caught Europa Champions League game. It's time to catch Europa. How about this then? Yeah. There yeah. you go, son. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Because you're good. You're an infamous KFC. 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 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is it? We're here then, we lit. Yo, we're currently out in the middle of city center, walking around. It seems like the town's a little buzzy, maybe because of last night, or who knows? Who knows if any of these people even noticed the game was on. I think hella people. Oh, I see JD. I'm gonna run into JD Sports because I gotta see if. They got any Chelsea jerseys around while I'm out here. But also, we're gonna check out a little Greg's soon. More to come, I'll let you. What do we think about this? I feel like I swear, I go to like stores and the sports stores are way better overseas than they are at the States, bro. But I'm gonna resist the urge to cop anything right now. 
except for this clean PSG jersey. Gotta get one of those. Pulled up to the ground. Okay, one here, bro. Sausage roll. <laughs> And it's bomb, right? It's it's delicious. I'm gonna eat just those. Thank you. And don't get a hot drink here. Get it at Starbucks for sure. I mean, you can't. Yeah. Yeah. The man them pulled up to the Greggs, <laughs> learning something new. Never tried it. Don't really. They say they don't really have something like this in America. I would say it's kind of like a. Yum Yum Donuts in LA, or like a little donut shop. You got the pastries, you got the hot pastries as well. Though. But you can get hot pastries. Aaron says it's not like the food we have in the States, but... <laughs> I don't, and I think that means it's not as good as the food we have no, in the States. it's not. <laughs> but we'll check it out. Did you say another Greg's? Oh shit, right here. Yeah, you're right though, it is a big town. Which way do you reckon is the quickest way to get to the train station? Which exit do you reckon? Mm, quickest way to the train station. Yeah, the, out, yeah. I'm just going straight out. Straight down. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I think it's also worth note as we run through the mall and get a couple of essentials. It's worth noting that I did not bring a single physical card on this trip with me, which is kind of wild. Everything I'm gonna be doing is paying by tap because I'm a bit of a futurist and I'm trying to prove that there's no more need to walk around with physical cards anymore. Everything is Apple Pay, but it might get me in some trouble sometimes, so we'll see. <laughs> Stay tuned. That's the bathroom, he said? Yes, it is, okay. yes. yes. <laughs> I love these in Europe. We on the speed train, boys. I'm mad I didn't drone this city, man. Man, you you were first in the last time. You did? I went to Tinnery. You got a certain deserve of anything. The next stop on Bay. Alright, you ready? Yeah. 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 Alright, so we got Greg's sausages. Apparently Greg's originated in Newcastle. So you, you know we gotta we gotta have it. It was in Newcastle upon Tyne too, which is exactly the station we were at when we got these. So quick little verdict. Nice flaky pastry with uh, sausage in it. It's not warm anymore as well. <laughs> it tastes like a mick muffin with a flaky pastry around it. Do you like it? Not particularly. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. It's not horrible. I'll say like a five yeah, out of ten. And just the flakes get everywhere. Flaky pastry. But I think that's why you guys don't have it over there because your guys palate, you lot's palate is just not, it's not made for that. <laughs> not for this, <laughs> not at all. It needs more sauce, it needs, like if they had spicy sausage McPatty. Because the flakiness around it, I like. Right. Just not the sausage. Greg's man. Five out of ten, we'll give it. Five out of ten. So that's Greg's. That's what Kate Abdul was talking about yesterday. Um, it's funny.
because the pastry is actually good. It's the sausage in the middle that's the worst. That's the main thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we had it. There it is. Now you know. On the train to Liverpool, we out of here.